2017 celebrated adaptation of Stephen King's It is now out on DVD and Blu-ray, and there are plenty of deleted and extended scenes to savor. In all, there are 11 added segments included in the film's bonus features. So, let's run through what's new and how the new clips fit into the overall story. And of course, here's the all-important spoiler alert for anyone still waiting to get spooked by Pennywise. Fake Out the first scene included in the bonus features is an alternate take of the iconic opening moment when little Georgie Dembro chases his prize paper boat down the rainstream, and it gets sucked into the sewer drain, where Pennywise, the dancing clown, is hiding. But instead of having his arm ripped off and being dragged into Derry's dark water, in this version he simply grabs the boat and wanders off, saying, See you later! Pennywise's reaction to Georgie's unexpected escape? First, it's silent confusion, then he finally utters, <sighs> Dad guilt. Next up, we have the scene with Stanley's father chiding him over his lack of preparation for his bar mitzvah. We already saw him correct his poor pronunciation and remind his son that he's a rabbi. But in the extended version, he goes for broke with the guilt trip. Not only does he essentially tell him he needs to take responsibility for his soul, but he also rattles off a list of exactly who he stands to let down if he messes this up. With that kind of pressure looming on the home front, it's no wonder Stanley's the most burdened of the bunch. Family friction. One thing that seemed to be a little lacking in the theatrical version of It was the emotional toll that Georgie's disappearance would take on the rest of the Dembros. In a new scene, though, we find out that not only are they completely broken, but it's Bill who's being inconsiderate and aloof about everything. His mom is shown silently laboring over the dishes as his father reads a magazine and Bill starts prattling on about planning their annual summer park trip. His mother wants nothing to do with it and storms off, and that's when his dad informs him that it's not happening. This was Georgie's favorite trip, so it doesn't matter how much everyone else liked it, it's done. Second Skeptic Another scene that's extended is the one when Bill flees from the basement after seeing a phantom Georgie and Pennywise down below. Bill, if you will come with me, you will float too. He runs to his father upstairs and explains what he saw, which prompts his father to explore the room right away. Even though Bill can clearly hear his dad sloshing around the flooded basement, his dad still returns to report that it's dry as bone and that it must have been a bad dream. Like other clueless adults around town, his dad doesn't see or hear what's really going on, and thinks it's just a product of Bill's cruel imagination. Grown ups. Unhappy Home. An aspect of the original It story that's mercifully glossed over in the cinematic adaptation is the abuse Henry Bowers suffers at the hands of his alcoholic father. In a new scene, though, he's shown struggling to apply ointment to lashes on his back, implying he's been whipped by his mean old man, and that this isn't the first time. Upon Henry's attempt to leave the house, his father demands that he fetch him another beer first, and he complies without any ounce of hesitation or attitude. But by the time his friends arrive, Henry's back to wearing his tough guy air. That fat f knows he touches me or rip his head off. As they're about to leave, too, they spot Mike Hanlon passing by on his delivery bike, which sets up the quick scene with Mike being bullied by the trio as Pennywise looks on. Fighting Fear Stanley's emotional defection from the rest of the losers is also evident in a new scene from the Knee Bolt House. When half the losers play Lookout, Stan cries to Mike about how he doesn't want to go in the house, and it's clear he just can't handle what's happening to all of them right now. Meanwhile, the scene also sets up a pretty tender exchange between Ben and Beverly. As they wait for the others, he places a hand on her shoulder, and she reciprocates by placing her hand on top of his own. An Exodus the next scene is only a slight extension of the Kneebolt house scene that scared the hell out of everyone in the theaters. But in a new piece of the sequence, we get to see how the group reacts to fighting their way out of Pennywise's clutches the first time. With Eddie's broken arm, he has to be carted away on Mike's bike, ditching his own ride in the street, and they're all otherwise in a collective state of panic as they scramble to flee the scene. Seeing their post-battle fear in action like this, it's pretty clear why they might be so quick to disband. Moody Monologue Stanley Uris might be a shrinking violet throughout the film, but he gets one scene of serious retribution in his bar mitzvah monologue. In the extended version of his ceremony, he lays into his father and the whole synagogue by calling them out for being out of touch with the dangers around town. Becoming an adult, according to the holy scripture, Derry, is learning not to give a shit. Perhaps not surprisingly, the only one who claps for him is Richie Trashmouth Tozier. Cast Vandal. In another briefly extended scene, we're finally shown what Eddie's face looks like when he realizes that Beverly's bully has signed his cast with the word loser down at the pharmacy. And to make matters worse, we also see her tack her chewed up wad of gum on top for an extra dose of germophobia. 
Slaughter Session The most shocking added scene of them all features Henry Bowers. Now possessed by Pennywise, parked outside the Kneebolt house with his face covered in blood, he watches as the losers prepare to go in and attempt to rescue Beverly from the clown. Like lambs to a slaughter. That's when the camera pans to the passenger side, and we see that both of his sidekicks have had their necks slashed, presumably by Henry's newly reacquired knife. It's then that the losers enter the house, not knowing that they have a twisted Henry lurking behind them. If included, the scene might have taken away the element of surprise when Henry shows up and attacks Mike, but it may have also set up the eventual excuse Jerry folks adopt about all the deaths, as they pin them on Henry. The Walkie Talkie in the theatrical version of it, Bill Dembro doesn't get a real sign of his brother's fate until after they vanquish Pennywise. But in an extended version of the scene, he stumbles upon Georgie's walkie-talkie first thing. Considering the condition of the device, it appears to be unbroken and perhaps even functional. The find might have given him false hope about his brother's condition and caused confusion in the final fight. So it's probably for the best that the filmmakers let him have his big showdown with the clown before handing him Georgie's old stuff. Family Vacation the original film ended after the loser said goodbye, but the alternative version of the closing moments would have ended on a slightly more optimistic note for at least one character. The unused ending included in the bonus features shows Bill's parents packing up the station wagon, as his mother comes out to kiss him and say they'll make new memories with a new vacation spot. Now that they've all come to accept Georgie's fate, they're finally starting to heal. But just to make sure no one gets too cozy, the camera eventually pans to the storm drain that was such a problem for them in the first place, just as it begins to rain. There's no Pennywise in there, yet, but it's clear his reign of terror is far from finished. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.